Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Shelby TV Sports Special. I'm Tim Meyer, along with Adam Zellick, and tonight we have from Utica High School boys varsity basketball action between the Eisenhower Eagles and the Utica Chieftains. It is uh, a special uh, game as the players uh, are playing for somebody in their family who has uh, been afflicted with cancer. Or friends. I'm Charlie Hayes, I'm playing for Hayes. I'm Adam Sitchin, I'm playing for Mike Cross. Dave Shalewski, I'm playing for my great grandpa. Laura Freeman, I'm playing for my grandpa. And Mark Lopache, I'm playing for my grandma. I'm David Walker, I'm playing for Tyler. I'm Jason Walker, I'm playing for Tyler. I'm Curtis Walker, I'm playing for Ray Chazelle. Three of runners playing for my grandma. Riley Miller, I'm playing for my Aunt Carol. Trevor Crow, I'm playing for my grandma. That's uh, Eisenhower. And now the Utica Chieftains. I'm also not playing for Alan Murphy. I'm Edson, I'm playing for my Uncle Al. I'm Mike, and I'm playing for my Uncle Jess. I'm Blake, and I'm playing for my mom. Sam, I'm playing for my grandma. I'm Parker, I'm playing for my lady. Jason Johnson, playing for my uncle Steve. I'm Liam, I'm playing for my uncle Matt. I'm Lizard, I'm playing for my cousin. I'm Lizard, I'm playing for my mom and dad. I'm Kimberly, I'm playing for my granddad Jackie. I'm Mitch, I'm playing for Grissom Paul. I'm Will, and I'm playing for my grandma. I'm Chris, I'm playing for my grandma. The players have uh, let us know who they're playing for here in the special cancer awareness game. Now we're going to get a photo here. And at any event, my color commentator and colleague here, uh, Adam Zellick, uh, you've got Eisenhower coming in here to this ball game at three and one. And the Chieftains at one and three. Uh, Eagles loaded with some height and uh, a couple of good shooters. Yeah, the height is going to be a problem for Utica here. As Eisenhower, you see, they got a six foot ten. They got some big boys out here, so that could be tough for Utica. Utica has started off uh, rough this season, but they've played a very non league tough schedule. It's been very tough, so it's getting them prepared for this league schedule coming up. And Eisenhower has, has played really well so far against some good teams. So Eisenhower is a very good team here. The Chieftains are going to have their hands full. I'm talking to Jerry Kramer before the game, uh, he said it'll be a good test for them. And he's anxious to see how his team will react. Uh, his eyes is a pretty decent squad, and uh, they're, they're going to kind of measure themselves a bit, see, uh, you know, where they have to where they have to go and, and, and how they got to get there. No, and these are two rival teams who, even, you know, it's always a close game, usually at least, when these two teams play. Eisenhower's got the uh, upper hand record all time, but it's still always a good game. These two teams want to beat each other very much. Now the big factor for Eisenhower, number 42, uh, Justin Grease, and he's six foot ten and big concern for uh, Coach Kramer, the Utica Chieftain, is, is how they're going to keep him off the boards. Yeah, Greason had a little bit of playing time last year, but now I guess he bulked up, gained 25 pounds through hard work in the weight room this year. So this kid is going to be tough to stop for the Chieftains as they have no one to match up the same size as him, not even close. Well, we are about ready to begin here. The Eisenhower Eagles, the Utica Chieftains, the Chiefs in white, the Eagles in black. Eisenhower coached by Dave Swessinger. And of course, the Utica Chieftains coached by Jerry Kramer.
That'll and be Will Young and Grease are going to jump it up here. Will a few inches okay. short. And you can see that big height. Yes, the tip. You can see that big height difference just right off there, off the jump. But still, Utica comes he out. So surprisingly, him. Mike Russell with it. Too young. He'll kick it out there to Mancini. Cross over to Blake uh, Valley. Is Mancini with it? Driving the lane, Blake Valley shoots it. No. It's around Greece, and it's rebounded there by Mitch. Mitch von Zitwitz, and here's Fraz Coney, way up looking for number 30, Dan Chimalewski. And he lets it go, it's tipped out of bounds by Utica. The Eisenhower basketball. And we got uh, interesting is we have the same score up there as a girls basketball. So Brandon Brunders unable to uh, corral that. Now they. They've taken the girls' basketball score off and put zeros yeah, up there. we finally got zeros up here now. Blake Valley covered by Charlie Hayes. Now quickly inside and driving a lane. Fox it with can't hit. Shemalewski driving a lane to the hole and in. Great quickness by Dan Shemalewski. Russell. Back out to Valley. Let's go, Charlie. Valley driving. No, it's taken away from him. Comes Hayes pushing up to Chemilewski. And he trying to make a move, and he's fouled there by Young. And we're going to see that fast pace all night. Eisenhower loves to push the ball. They love that fast break. And as you've seen so far, every time they get aboard, their heads are all looking up and they're all running the court. So it's going to be a fast paced game here if Eisenhower can set the tempo that they want. First free throw is no good. We're st still at two nothing Eagles here with 6.46 left to play in the first quarter. Second free throw is good. Now Eisenhower leads it three to nothing. Showing a little bit of a press here. Von Zitwit to Young. Doug's three pointer no good. Rebounded by Chemilewski. Trying to quickly get up to. Uh, Alec Frasconi. Brunderk's got it. Corner to Hayes. Shoot from three point. Land, no. Rebounded by Brunderk. He puts it up, no. Russell got it for Utica, gives it to Valley, back to Russell. Russell looking to bring it in with him. Dumped it off to Young. Uh, so he moved his pivot foot, so it's traveling. It's gonna be Eisenhower basketball. Brunderks. Side to Greece and back out to Hayes. The drive the lane, throw it up. No, Brunderks with the rebound. Try to go up with it. Greece can't handle it. It's out to Chemilewski. Frasconi to Hayes for three. It's good. Good ball rotation there by the Eagles. Six nothing Eisenhower. Von Zitwitz going to drive the lane, throw it off the glass. No, partially blocked. Runderks quickly out to Hayes. Chemilewski in the corner, the left-handed jumper from there, no. Von Zitwitz with the rebound. Quickly up to uh, Valley. Blake, little spin move. Greason blocks it. And then it's tipped out of bounds by Young. A, a nice cut there, just couldn't quite come down with it. But you see this Utica offense is a little bit slower pace. They're gonna try to penetrate and kick the whole game. That's their style of offense. And you see the flip side, Eisenhower's offense is usually just fast paced, trying to push the ball as much as they can. Hayes. Chemilewski for three, way downtown, no. Rebounded there by Valley. 
opens up for Utica to Russell. Russell for three. That's way off. And that's out of bounds. And Eisenhower again will take over. Utica shut out here with 4.52 left to go in the first quarter. And that's how Utica is going to try to make their living tonight, shooting a lot of three pointers. They'll, they'll get some penetration and get the ball down low sometimes, but a lot of their shots are going to come from three point land. Brundux turns around and fires it. No. Greason with the rebound. He's going to go up strong off the glass, though. No. Oh, nice uh, legs there by Fran Francone. Got up there, man. To Greason. Throws it up there to him. The big guy off the glass. No, he can't make it happen. Rebounded there by Frick. Jumper from the corner. No good. Here comes Hayes. He'll push it. Valley's back. Goes around Valley. Lays it off the glass. No. Tip by Greason. Again, he's got it. And third time's a charm. Justin Greason, the third time he got it, put it up there. It's 8-0 Eisenhower and Jerry Kramer in the Utica bench wants timeout. Yeah, Greason finally puts one in there. He's had a bunch of chances so far. You can be as tall as you want, but if you can't finish, it's not going to do much for you. But at least he finally gets one in there. And Utica, you can see, just having a ton of trouble with the size. You still got to box out. You got to get low. Put your bottoms on them, because that's how you got to keep them out. Don't let them jump over you. If you stay low, put a body on them. If they jump over you, you're going to get an over the back call. So don't let that size bother you. We have 4.05 up to play here in the first quarter. The Eisenhower Eagles, eight. Uh, the Utica Chieftains have yet to score. A little bit cold from the outside. They know they're not going to make their living inside in the paint. So. If they should heat up, it could be a very, very close ball game here. Mike Frick with it now. A little opening in the lane. Corner by Zitwitz gets it back out to Russell. There's Valley for three. No, rebounded by Brunderks. Hayes pushing it for Eisenhower on the right side. Oh, they're going to call for carrying the basketball. Yeah, he you got to dribble it too. <laughs> Some Goper in for uh, Utica number 10. Uh, here's Russell from the corner in and out. Run Dirks again a rebound. Russell blocks it. Got it again. Got to throw it up. No rebound and foul by Hayes. And a good job by Russell there to stick with it. He may have missed the shot, but didn't give up on it. And now he's getting free throws because of his extra effort there. Yeah. Russell's first free throw is good. That gets the Chiefs on the board. 8-1 our score. Eisenhower by seven, and he'll get one more chance here. Russell will. Yeah, the second free throw is also good. Eight to two now our score as number 11, Parker Shamil checks in. Hayes will bring it up for Eisenhower. Chemilewski. Frescone. Hayes, Frescone in the corner for the jumper. Pops and jumps, no. Rebounded by Greason. We got a foul on who? Yeah, it looks like number 11, Parker Shamil with the foul. They're greasing with it. Just lobbed it in. Oh, and he can't hit it. Valley. Frick with it now. Side of Von Zitwitz, a little left handed hook. No, Brunderks with the rebound. Good box out by Brandon. Hayes now looking around. Calls a play, a little pick and roll with Greason. Brunderks. Oh, he thought he thought Greason was going to spin and, and roll towards the hoop, but it, that didn't happen. And it's Utica basketball. Frick with it. Hot in the corner. There's Goper. 
you got to be careful like, with passes like that to the corner. He was open, but when you cock it back with one arm there, you telegraph it a little too much. He was lucky that it got there. Copper's first free throw is no good. Still 8-2. Eisenhower, 240 left to play in the first. Second free throw is good. Now eight to three, Eisenhower. Hayes, little backdoor play to press. Cody, and he makes it. Ten to three, Eisenhower by seven. Von Zitwitz in the corner, Shamil. Out to frickin', I'm sorry, Russell with the three-pointer. 10 to six. As I said, if Utica can heat up from the outside, we're gonna have ourselves a close ball game. Absolutely, that's where they're gonna make their living tonight. If they're hitting those threes, they got a great chance. If they're cold, not so much. Alex Frasconi driving away, throws it off the glass. No, rebounded way to get up there by Frick, but man, he, he was sky in there. Von Zitwitz. The reverse layup, no, blocked by Chemilewski, blocked by Brunderks. Chamil with it, he tried to save it for Asconi right there. Gonna go to the hole, throw it off the glass, no. Chemilewski can't handle it. Now it's thrown by Frick, and Hayes recovers it. Frasconi from the corner, no. Rebounded by Gopper. Gets it to Russell, and, and he'll bring it up for Utica. Chamil in the corner, guarded by Chemilewski. Tries to go around him, throws it up, no. Rebounded by Dan. He gives it to Hayes. The Eagles will slow it up with a minute left to play. They lead it 10 to six. Greeson from the free throw line, no. Doesn't follow his shot, it's rebounded there by Mike Russell. Rod Zitwitz, uh, good defense by Brunderks. Can't make it happen. The Eagles rebound, 40 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Hayes with it. Chemilewski popped the jumper from 22, and it's good. That was a nice shot, smooth. 12-6, Eisenhower. Russell for Utica over the timeline. Hayes on him. And Coach Kramer wants that last shot. But he's not going to get it. We got a foul. It looks like it'll be on Chemilewski. Oh, I'm sorry. It's on Charlie Hayes. <laughs> Brandon Brunderk's going to come out, and, and uh, Jake Bradshaw, number 14, will be in for Eisenhower. Utica inbound. 14 seconds left to play here in the first. Frick looking for somebody. Can't find anybody. And now he gets Chamil. He'll give it to Russell. The Frick. Frasconi on him. Looking in the middle. Gopper throws it up. No. Young tipped it. No. Gopper again trying to go up with it. No. That'll be the end of the first quarter of play. The Eisenhower Eagles lead the Utica Chieftains 12 to 6. We'll be more. We'll be back with more Shelby TV basketball action right after this. Ah, you just got your bell rung. You're okay. Get back in the game. Guess what? If you got your bell rung, you're probably not okay. You've probably sustained a concussion, and going back in the game just might put your life in jeopardy. Safety comes first in high school sports, and everyone should learn the signs and symptoms of concussions. Visit the MHSAA website to learn more. And back again here at Shelby TV Sports Special. Tim Meyer along with Adam Zillick. Utica High School for boys varsity basketball action between the Eisenhower Eagles and the Utica Chieftains. Mike leads it 12 to 6, and Adam, that first quarter was a little bit of a quick one starting out for Eisenhower, but the Chiefs came back. Yeah, it was a very fast paced game. Both teams getting a lot of good shots down in the paint, just missing a lot of them, too. Young in the paint, little left handed hook shot goes in. 
Gotta love to see a lefty hook there in the paint. Pass Coney to Bradshaw for three. Off the iron, no, rebounded there nicely by Russell. He corrals it, gives it to Valley. Valley to Russell. Throws it up on a runner, no, rebounded by Greeson. Quickly out to Frasconi. Chemilewski thought about the three, cut off by Von Zitwitz to Greeson, and he's caught for traveling. Uh, Trevor Curl checks in for Eisenhower. Goppers quickly to Von Zitwitz, drives the lane out to Russell. 4 3, no, rebounded by Frasconi. Quickly up to Bradshaw. Bradshaw, little elbow, probably didn't need to do that, could have just went in for the layup. Utica trying to pull within uh, two, no, rebounded by Curl out to Frasconi. They lead it 12 to 8 and 6.20 left to go. Getting a little sloppy out there. Yeah, Utica's getting some nice looks, but they can't make any shots, and it looks like they're trying to hurry their offense a little bit. Eisenhower's got them playing a little bit faster pace, and I think they'd like to play right now. Chabalowski for three. It's good. <laughs> Yeah, Chemilewski, the quarterback of the Eisenhower football team this year, and uh, showing his talents out on the basketball court, even though he's going to go play college baseball. So. <laughs> and we're going to get a foul on Alec Frasconi. Fifteen eight Eagles. Utica with the basketball. Blake Valley calling the play for the Chieftains. Gets a pick from Young. Goes to the hole. He loses it. Comes Alec to France Coney. Little left-handed layup. No. Try to stretch out. Rebounded there by Mancini. Gets it up for Russell. Try to save it. He can't save it. Von Zitwitz throws it up. No. And Chemilewski's got it. To Bradshaw. He's got to pull back. Finds Brunderks at the free throw line inside to Trevor Curl. Gets it out to Chemilewski to Brunderks. Brunderks thought about the three, going to drive the lane. And Young's going to take the charge. I think uh, Brunderks was trying to avoid him, but you know, when you're that big, it's, it's difficult to avoid anything. Yeah, it's hard to switch uh, directions that quickly, but a great job taking the charge there. And I'm sure Coach Jerry Kramer's got to love that. Well, the Chiefs certainly have had their looks. It is 15 to 8 Eisenhower, but uh, it could be it could be a lot closer. Yeah, Von Zitwitz has had a lot of good luck, looks down in the paint, can't quite finish, and a lot of th Valley open threes. Valley throws it out. It's blocked by Frasconi. Looks at the lane, gives it off to Chemilewski for three. It's off the back of the air. No, Bradshaw over the back, and he's going to be called for the foul. And that's what you got to do. As long as you get bodies on someone, you may not have the height advantage on them. But if you get your butt down low, you get your body on them. If they're jumping over you, you're going to get those over the back calls. And that's what you got to do when you, you know, you're out height. Curtis Bugger in for Eisenhower, number 44. Von Zitwitz driving in there. Kicks it out to Mancini, and gonna call Frick for a walk. Yeah, he got a little bit too excited there. Grecian in the corner out to Frasconi. Chemilewski for three. No, rebounded there by Von Zitwitz. Mancini with it, looking around. Got it to Valley. Valley driving the lane. Try to go up with it. I don't know if that's on Greeson for a push or. 
a nice job by Valley though there to get the ball out. He didn't look like he had much space to go, and he got the ball out at least to get the two shots instead of on the floor. I was gonna say, you know, the Chieftain boys shoot as good as the Chieftain girls from the free throw line. Yeah, they'd be doing It'd be a well big tonight. advantage for them. Now, Charlie Hayes comes back in for Eisenhower. Bradshaw out. Valley second free throw is good. That makes the score 15 to nine. Eisenhower here with 4-10 left to go in the second quarter. Hayes now over to Frasconi. In the corner, Bunger, no. Rebounded there nicely by uh, Frick. Gets it up to Valley. Valley will push it a bit. They're going to drive the lane. Shamil, no. Off the back of the iron. Rebounded there by Valley again. Good hustle by Blake. It's kind of been all over the place this uh, first half. Mancini into the corner to Valley. Shamil with it. Looking for a pick from Von Zitt once he gets it. Nice feed to Mancini. Oh, I'm sorry to Frick, and that's two in the paint for the Chieftains. 15 to 11. They worked the ball out. They worked the ball well there. Yeah, and that's what happens when you're patient with your offense. You eventually find somebody open, and they did there. Eagles whip it around. Frasconi for three, and he's got it. Well, Eisenhower comes right back and uh, rattles down a three-pointer. 18 to 11, Eagles. Valley to Chamil, Parker Chamil. Back to Valley on the baseline. Tried to get out there, Frasconi was right there and stole it. And he is fouled by number 23, Mike Frick of the Utica Chieftains. When you drive the baseline like that, or down there, like Blake Valley did for Utica, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. You gotta be careful. You got two defenders there. You're running right into the trap down there, basically, where they want you to go and he had nowhere to go with the ball. Turnover. 2.40 left the play here in the first half. Hayes of Eisenhower with it. Trying to go into Bunger. It's stolen nicely there by Russell. Drive the lane, give it to Blake Valley, a little reverse left-handed layup is good. Nice lefty reverse layup there by Valley. 18-13, Chiefs within five here. Backdoor play to Frasconi. He's wide open, lays it off the glass and in. That's happened to the Chieftains' defense a couple times. It looks like they get a little lost and somebody sneaks behind. 20 to 13, Eisenhower. Three point attempt by uh, Liam Mancini. Here's Blake Valley. Parker Chamil over to Russell. Mancini, or I'm sorry, Frick for three, no. Rebounded by Hayes. Minute 40 left to play here in the second quarter. Chemilewski out to Hayes. The corner, Frasconi. Chemilewski looking in the middle. Munger's got it. Trying to get sling it inside to Justin Greason, but it's a little too hot to handle. Oh, nice block by the Eagles. Frasconi, little bounce pass nicely to Chemilewski, who lays it up and in. 22-13, Eisenhower, minute left to play in the second. The Chieftains getting close, and then Eisenhower, like uh, the Chieftain girls, seem to pull away again. Yeah, Eisenhower's really pushing the pace here, but a big three there to answer for Utica. Now there's a nice jump shot by number four, Mike Russell of Utica. That's a three-pointer, 22-16. Hayes to Chemilewski. Corner to Frasconi. Missed everything with that one. Hayes has got it. Yeah, he's tied up. Oh, did he call timeout? I don't know, did he call timeout before the jump ball? I didn't see a possession arrow. 
Yeah, I guess just call a timeout. I think maybe, you know, slow the pace down. Kramer wants to talk to his guys. But what's really been interesting to, to me here so far, Tim, is these defenses we've been seeing. Usually I think of these as two man-to-man -man teams, but I talked to both coaches before the game. They say they like to change up the defenses a lot. And we've seen some really different defenses on, like, almost every possession. It's been something different from both teams. So that's kind of throwing me off a little bit here, uh, seeing these different defenses. But it's been good. They're, each team's trying to throw the other's offense off, and at points they have been. Yeah, the, uh, I'm kind of surprised uh, myself that the uh, Eagles uh, settle for so many three-point shots. Whoa thought with a height advantage they'd be inside more but yeah and they started the game getting the ball down low but now they've been taking a lot of threes and settling for long shots 20 seconds left to go under 20 seconds almost 10 seconds now left to go here in the second quarter Mike Russell with it inside for Von Zitwitz no Chemilewski Branch Coney for three let's go Crash Cody hits a jumper right at the buzzer. And the Eagles end the first half with a three-pointer. The score at the end of two quarters of play here. Eisenhower 25 at Utica 16. We'll be back with more Shelby TV action right after this. Behind every great play in high school sports, behind the scoreboard, is a great story waiting to be told. And now those stories are coming to life every day on The Second Half by MHSAA. The Second Half lets you be a part of the action. Send us your photos, videos, and story ideas. You can also catch up on schedules, scores, and other good stuff happening in high school sports. So start out every day with The Second Half, a new feature of the MHSAA family of websites. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this Shelby TV Sports Special. Tim Meyer along with Adam Zillick. And uh, Adam, a uh, little bit about that first half. Well, of course, a good half for the Eagles so far as they got a nine-point lead here. But a good fought half both ways. Uh, Eisenhower, I would say, tried to set the tempo early with their fast break and kind of tried to force the Chieftains to play with them with that tempo. And it didn't work out very well for them. Well, the Eagles lead at 25-16 here as it's into the big guy, Greason. Throws it up again, it rolls out of the rim and out of bounds, tipped out by, looks like Brunders tipped it out. Be cheaped in ball, the Eagles leading at 25-16. And Greason continues to get those good looks down low. He just only got one so far that he's put in. And he blocks that one. Russell tries to go up with it, and big Greason was there. Got the got the hands up and blocked that one. Hayes rebounds. The Eagles will bring it up. Chemlewski in the open three from the corner, throws it up. No, Brunderks with the rebound, trying to get it into Greason, who was wide open for about a half second. Blake Valley with it. Looking for a pick, doesn't get it. Kicks it out to Russell. Thought about the three. Young for shot. That's top of the key. Comes Chemilewski. Uh, it looks like they're going to get Young for a foul there. And Chemilewski's doing a great job here for Eisenhower so far tonight. He's hit a couple threes. He's doing a good job with the ball. There's Grease, and he didn't miss that one. They put it off the glass, and it's 27-16 Eisenhower. And that's an easy play. Just lob it up for your big guy, let him go get it, and puts it right off the glass and in. Valley looking for Russell. Knocked away by Frasconi. Russell got it again. Young back out to Blake Valley. Tries to drive a lane, throws it up. Frasconi with a block. He said it was off of uh, Blake Valley, but it was not. Von Zitwitz to inbound for Utica. Gets it out to Russell. Russell got Hayes on him, gets a pick from Young. Stops to Valley. And they're gonna say he stepped on the line. That'll be Eisenhower basketball. 6.23 left to play here in the third quarter. Eisenhower leads it 27-16.
Hayes picked up the dribble at Shemaluski to Greason. Got it, lost it. Trying to get it to Brunderks. Knocked out of bounds by. Oh, they're going to say what off of Brunderks. Yeah, that was hard to tell, but it definitely looked like it went off <laughs> Chieftains from here. But either way, Chieftains got the ball. Well, it only matters what the guy in his stripe says. And he says it's Utica basketball. Blake Valley into the corner to Russell. That's Coney on him. Russell driving a lane over Greason. No. Shot. And tipped in by Young. Will Young with the tip in makes it 27 18. Eisenhower by nine. Grease it in the corner to Chemelewski to Hayes. Hayes for three. It's good. 30 18 Eisenhower here with 5.25 left to go here in the third. Mancini driving around the right side. He is fouled. Dan Chemelewski with a foul. Uh, Gopher coming in for. Utica, he'll replace Mancini. Valley quickly back out to Von Zitwitz, back to Valley. Stolen by Frasconi, up to Hayes. And oh, blocked by nice York. Block. Comes Russell. Rob Brunders into Young. Bothered by Greason, back out to Valley. Valley with a 10 footer, no. Brunderks with the rebound, I'll let to Hayes. Greasing in the corner to Hayes. The Greasing in the inside, he's gonna power move in. Blocked by Young and he got a foul though, he was fouled by Young. Nice move there by Greason though. Nice little pivot, little hop step there to get himself under the basket. Gets himself to the free throw line. Well, Young's got to be about 6'5", so. He's giving up a few inches to Greason. Yeah, definitely. 43. Fortunately for Utica, that's Young's third foul. Uh, he comes out, he's replaced quickly by Mike Frick. Greason makes the free throw, it makes it 32 to 18, Eisenhower. Frick with it in the corner. Young knocked a little bit by Greason, knocked away from him. Shot by Frick, no. Rebounded by Brunderks, looking for Hayes, he's got him. Charlie will bring it up over the timeline for Eisenhower. Chemelewski for three in the corner. After the shot, they're gonna say, uh, Mike Frick pushed uh, Dan Chemelewski, so it will not be a free throw situation. That's Coney to Hayes. Eagles will retain possession of the basketball. Hayes looking on the inside, Chemelewski for three. Off the front of the iron, no. Rebounded though by the Eagles, it gets out to Frasconi. That's Coney on the inside, tips it around, back to himself. To drive the lane, the Greason off the glass and in. Nice pass off to Greason there, got him wide open under the basket. And that was all Alec Fra Frasconi keeping it, uh, keep the ball alive, really. Absolutely, got that bounce pass, got a little loose, but he kept with it and got it to his teammate. 34-18, Eisenhower leads, nice backdoor pass to Blake Valley, and it's good for two for Utica. And that's a nice play to Valley there. He's been struggling every time he gets it down low in the land of the trees, but that time he gets a nice little layup. Gonna call a foul on Charlie Hayes. And going back to Valley here, Coach Kramer said this is one of the hardest working kids he's ever had. He, he's working out every morning at 6 a.m. and just works tirelessly, and that's why he's the captain of this team. I say Charlie Hayes lowered his head, and that's his third foul. Call for the offensive foul. And Blake Valley bringing up for Utica, Parker Chamil. Long three-pointer by Russell, no. 
Rebounded there by Gilbert. Mike Valley, to Van Zitwitz. He loses it, knocked away from him. Brundirk's got it to Frasconi. To Hayes. Thought about the three, goes cross court to Chemelewski to Frasconi. Hayes knocked away a little bit. Chemelewski look, trying to look inside. He wanted Greason in there. He's caught in the drive, a little hop step. No, rebound to Parker. Chamil does a nice job saving it, getting it to Russell. The Chief is bringing it up. Parker Chamil for three, and he's got it. Timeout, Utica. Yeah, Coach Kramer will want to talk to his team a little bit here, get back in this game, make sure that they know that they're still in the game, and whatever they've just been doing these last few plays here is working. They're, they're putting that deficit down a little bit. Need to get themselves back in this game quick, though. Uh, you know, it looked like the Eagles were really going to pull away and you know hit a couple three-pointers, and then all of a sudden uh, they got the big guy involved, the Eisenhower did, and uh, looked didn't look very well for Utica. but. They came back to their credit and uh, kept it and inched back into an 11 point ball game. Yeah, if I'm Eisenhower, I'm getting the ball down low to my bigs. Obviously, Utica is having trouble with the height, and uh, Eisenhower is getting nice shots up close, but Utica's never out of the game here. You see, they hit a three there, you're right back in it. You, you hit a couple threes, this team gets hot, and we got a ball game. The Eagles lead it 34 23 with 2.04 left to go here in the third. Some people may be wondering, you see Coach Kramer in that uh, cast type thing over there. He tore his left bicep. And I guess uh, we'll leave the story at a, it was a freak accident in the weight room. Yeah, well, it wasn't. I think clean aim was a spotter, I think. For <laughs> that might have been it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I tell you what, we get a shot of Coach, uh, Coach Clee's shoes tonight. Boy, I'll tell you, those puppies are. I think you got those from the road commission. <laughs> I think so. Grace it inside to Brundirk. Now he's going to play a little big man ball. And a little turnaround. Nice little turnaround jump shot there. 36 23, Eisenhower. Mike Valley. Nice little give and go to Von Zitwitz. Now he passes up for Gopers. Yeah, he hit the three pointer. Thirty six twenty six. Brunderick's in a corner looking across court. Frasconi got it. Eisenhower answers quickly there and you can't leave him wide open. You get a three pointer go lockdown defense. He left him wide open. Now here's Von Zitwitz. Russell for two. Gets his own rebound though. Try to go up, but that was an impossible shot there. Von Zitwitz, Goper, Blake Valley. Russell. Chief moving quickly, but don't get an open look. Now Valley. Parker Chamil to Valley for three. High Archer, no. And Gopher had the rebound, but couldn't corral it. It's off his legs, out of bounds. 39 26 Eagles. They have the basketball. Brunderks deep down for Frasconi. There's a wide open layup. And he lays it up and in. You hear Coach Kramer there. He wants a last shot. He's going to let that clock run down. Valley gets a pick. Corner to Gopher. Side to Russell. He's got to shoot it up quickly, and he does. But it's good right at the buzzer. That'll make the score 41 28. That'll end the third quarter with Eisenhower leading 41 28.
We'll be back with more Shelby TV basketball action right after this. I've been coaching for over 40 years and have won 13 state titles. I'm proud of that record. But the record I'm even more proud of is when we can go through a season without a serious injury to a player, especially one that involves a concussion. Everyone on my team, assistant coaches and the trainers, the players, the parents, and the school administration know that safety comes first with me. I can live with losing a game. I wouldn't like it, but I could live with it. What I couldn't live with is having one of the young men on my team suffer permanent brain damage because he thought winning was more important than his own health and safety. It's not. A true champion knows when to step off the field and let his body heal. And a great coach makes sure his team and staff knows that too. Remember, it's everyone's responsibility to monitor for potential concussion. It takes a team effort to keep concussions in check and young athletes in the game. And hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Shelby TV Sports Special. Tonight's uh, game between the Eisenhower Eagles and the Utica Chieftains here from Utica High School. Boys varsity basketball, and I'm here with uh, Adam Zellick. And Adam, uh, I tell you, it's been a fast-paced ball game that, tonight. This one's so quick. I mean, it seems like it should only be like the second quarter right now, <laughs> and it's been this fast, but Eisenhower, it's been all Eisenhower so far here. Oh, Valley dribbles through it, now Parker Chamil for three. It's good! Look out! Addition for Eisenhower, for Ascone. Drive away, throw it up the glass and in! Nice hard drive by Alec Frasconi. 43-31 Eisenhower. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't get the and one there. It looked like he got fouled, but still a nice basket. Uh, Chiefs turn it over. Brundrick's picks up the basketball. Gives it to uh, Anishin. It's gonna bring it up. Chemaluski in the corner to Greeson. Does a good job holding on. Brundrick's with it. Right to uh, Grayson, uh, that's a pretty easy one. Yeah, you trap, you try to trap Brundrix there, but you left Grayson wide open on the other side of the block, and easy two for him. They got a foul before he, the shot. Evan Atishan with the foul. Bracks are going to come in for him. Number 14 for Eisenhower. Chemaluski is also out. Hayes will come in again. Coper to Parker Chamil. Trying to get inside to Ben Zitwitz. Bratcher with the steal. Grease has got it quickly up to Hayes. He's fouled from behind by Gopers. A good foul there, though, before you can get the ball up for the shots, you know, get a foul on the ground. Good no, decision it looked by like Gopher he was going to go to the big guy, yeah. Russell going to come in for Valley. Frasconi going to inbound for Eisenhard. Deep out for Bradshaw for three. Nothing but that. You got to love that play and the triple screen there. Three yeah. guys screening for him and he was left wide open. No Utica guy could get to him. Perfect play from Eisenhower there. That's going to bring a timeout by Utica. Jerry Kramer calls it and uh, opens up a 17 point lead for Eisenhower with 631 left. And uh, I don't think Utica has much time left. They've got to really start hitting him. And, and, Putting a little bit more pressure on Eisenhower. No, they're really running out of time here, and you just head it down to a 10-point deficit, but all of a sudden Eisenhower scores, you know, seven unanswered, and now you're looking at a big deficit. Score some points here, get it back to single digits, and give yourself a chance at the end of the, of the game, hitting some shots and getting some fouls. Jerry Kramer down there in that Utica huddle. Uh, very demonstrative down there with, with his instructions. Yeah, it seems like every time out, Eisenhower's ready to go, but Jerry's taking every second he can to talk to his team and make sure they're prepared.
So here we go. Mike Russell bring it up for Utica. Kicks it out to Gopers. He's looking around. Parker Chamil got it. You got to pop for three way out there. It's good. I'll tell you what, he just throws them up wow. from anywhere. From downtown Utica. This is like his driveway here. 48-34. <laughs> Charlie Hayes threatens the drive. Now I'm picking up to give it to Bradshaw. Jake with it. Dribbling around, looking for somebody. Fired over to Frasconi. To Hayes. He's looked inside. Now he's going to get it over to Bradshaw. Utica pressing really hard on defense. Much more aggressive. Frasconi flying in there looking for the alley oop. And he's foul. A great pass over the top there. He was cutting, he saw him, and there were defenders there, but he threw it just right over their heads and they couldn't get to it. Great play. Sam Gober with the foul. Frasconi to the line. First free throw is good, 49-34, Eisenhower. And here comes the second. And that's good as well. So with 5.35 left to play here in the fourth quarter, Eisenhower leads at 50-34. Lake Valley with it. Mike Russell, Von Zitwitz, Parker Chamil, throw it up from there, in and out, no, rebounded by Frasconi. He'll give it to Hayes and Charlie will walk it up. Backdoor pass to Frasconi and he scores. Beautiful play there by Eisenhower. Another backdoor cut just ca catches Utica sleep, and they got to communicate better, make sure everybody's accounted for, because they're letting a lot of easy buckets go. A little spin move shot by Valley. Brundark's holding on to the basketball a little too long for Coach Schwesinger's uh, liking. But uh, it's knocked out of bounds by Utica. It'll be Eisenhower basketball. They lead it 52 34 with 4.51 left to play here in the ballgame. Frasconi, a long pass to Hayes on the bomb. Catches up to it. Now he's being trapped in the corner. We got a timeout called by Eisenhower. Charlie Hayes got a little trapped there. Yeah, good use of a timeout there. Coach saw that he was trapped in the corner. Couldn't really do much with it. So a quick call to timeout there. Make sure you keep the ball. <laughs> We look at tonight's game, you look at uh, Eisenhower, you see all the hype and stuff, but the, the player that's kind of impressed me tonight has been that Alec, Alex uh, Fras Frasconi. Uh, Chemelewski looks uh, a close second, but, but Frasconi seems to be all over the place. Uh, really natural moves on the basketball court. Absolutely, some good moves. He's just running around working hard to get himself to the basket. And his teammates have done a great job of finding him when he does get open. But as you said, he's just good moves. He's all over the place. It's kind of like that Rip Hamilton role it almost looks like where he's just running around working hard to get to the ball, get to the net. And then when he gets it, he's finishing. But number 44 for Eisenhower, Curtis Bunger is checked in. Bunger with it out to Greeson. Hayes with it. Guarded by Bally. Quickly inside to Bunger. He's got it. Try to get it into Greeson. Now it's knocked away from him. Bradshaw's got it. Russell tries going after him. We're going to get a foul on Russell, I think. Yeah, and you got to call the foul there on Russell. He reached in a little too much. He almost got the ball back, but just a little too aggressive there. That's got to be a foul. Now, like Frank's calling, going to bring it in. Hayes dribbles through everybody. 
Bradshaw for three. In and out. Rebounded by Valley, and he's on the line. Parker Chamil couldn't get out of his way. Yeah, it appeared Valley had it, but his teammate couldn't quite just get off him and kind of fell on him there, and there was nowhere he could really go. Bradshaw to Buggers, taken by Mike Russell. Behind the back dribble, to the hole, throws it up off the iron, no, rebounded by Bunger again. Knocked out of his hands, but right to Bradshaw. He'll give it to Hayes, and Hayes will bring it up for Eisenhower. Four minutes left to play. Eagles lead at 52-34. Now Hayes is fouled by Parker Chamil. Yeah, and he was just a little bit late to the ball there. Couldn't quite get his feet set, and that's what cost him the foul. Eagles will go to the line now. They are in the bonus, so Charlie Hayes will step to the stripe. This is the free throw. Utica bringing the ball up with uh, Blake Valley. Get a pick from Von Zitwitz. Parker Chamil over the corner to Valley. Chamil popping for three again, and it's good. Like I said, he's on his driveway. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care where he's at. 52-37. Bradshaw almost uh, took off without the basketball. Hayes has got it. Cross court to Chemilewski. Back to Hayes. Bunger in the corner trying to get into Trevor Curl and it uh, knocked away in Utica's basketball. Parker Chamil to Valley. He'll bring it back out, set it up. Three minutes left to play. The Eagles lead at 52 37. Chamil again for three, way from downtown. He almost hit that one too. That almost Holy. made another deep three. Holy there. mackerel. Bunger for three. No, rebounded by Chemilewski, knocked out of his hands by Von Zitwitz. It'll be Eisenhower basketball. All of a sudden, it's looking like a three-point competition out here, Tim. G and Pace, number 34 in the ball game for Eisenhower. Chemilewski for three. No, knocked out of there by Brancher, but right to Valley. Splits Hayes and... Chemilewski, but Chemilewski was there bothering him enough. He missed the layup. Comes Hayes. Now he steals it from nice Hayes. Steal. Hayes looked back at the referee, and now he's going to be called for a foul. <laughs> Charlie can't believe it, but he got no call on his end, and when Valley drove, they called him for a foul. Well, good work by Valley there not to give up on it. Makes a great steal, and he didn't get the last basket, but he at least gets himself to the free throw line on this one. <laughs> Well, you get the roll by uh, Blake Valley, 52-38. Vidion in for uh, Utica, number 22. As well as Austin Jakubic. Hayes looking. Got Chemilewski over to Bradshaw for three. And it's good! Jake Bradshaw pops a three-pointer. That'll make it 55-39 with 2.11 left to play. We got a timeout called by Eisenhower. Yeah, a huge lead here for Eisenhower, making some three-pointers. Utica just can't keep up with them. And uh, Eisenhower just draws that lead out more. Utica in a lot of trouble here with not much time left. But I would like to say, Tim, I, I, I do enjoy this uh, this 
Chieftains and Eagles game versus cancer here. Uh, I wish they would have started it when I was here uh, just six years ago. It doesn't seem that long, but they've been doing it. This is the fourth year now, raising a lot of money. Uh, great cause. The kids are playing for somebody special that, you know, fought it, beat it, or, uh, you know, lost the fight to it. So a great cause here. I really, uh, you know, it's a special event. Yeah, and all the, all the people that were part of uh, putting on this event uh, today, the coaches and and the support people uh, doing a great job getting the uh, girls basketball team together and the Eisenhower varsity game we covered uh, with Utica varsity and it was great. Uh, they do a great job. They work hard and, uh, and they should be commended for it. Absolutely. Now here's Jakubic for Utica. Bring it up. Little bounce pass in. Uh, missing a layup there. Number 12 Johnson. And Russell's got it. He'll throw it up again. Chemilewski with the rebound will bring it up. He'll give it a haze. One or two minutes now. Eagles lead at 59 39. Hayes crossed to Chemilewski. Eagles just, just trying to run some clock here. Bratcher in the corner for three. Can't feel. Curl had the rebound and off his hands out of bounds to Utica. There's some wholesale changes here. Pavelic's in for Utica as well as number 41, Chris uh, Zagilli. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of youth on the floor here now. Vadian. Now to uh, Zagilli. Jakubic with it. Trying to hop through a few people. Hayes still got it. Bradshaw on the fast break, lays it up and in. <laughs> and Eisenhower is going to call a 30 second timeout. Imagine when you get, you know, the, the couple of all these different players in and want to substitute, you know, you want to figure out where they're. Uh, yeah, make sure you get the right guys in there, make sure they know what they're doing. And hey, you still got a couple of minutes to coach so your you know, younger kids now, so might as well use it. You got a whole new set of folks out there for eyes. All right, you got uh, number, number 10, uh, Amia. Who else is out there? Number 52, Riley Miller. Isaiah McLaughlin, number 40. Number 30, Gia Pace. Number 32, uh, Logan Friedel. Jakubic will bring it up for Utica. It's a pick from Johnson. Uh, Vadian gonna drive the lane. Tries a little quick reverse, does it. Hits the little bit of the rim. Eagles scrambling on it. Picking it up there at a 52 of Miller. Yeah. McLaughlin. To Mia to McLaughlin. Vadia knocks it away. That was intended for uh, Miller. Pavelic, little runner, no. <laughs> Rebounded there by Pace. McLaughlin cross court to Logan Friedel. Shot from out there, no. It's not his range. The reserves come in here and uh, <laughs> already pick up this fast pace. Apparently they've been paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, it's a sprint when you're only in for two minutes, right? <laughs> That's right. Pavela gets it to Jakubic. Oh, and it's stolen. Here comes Miller on a fast break. Vadian's back. He'll throw it up. No, off the back of the iron pace with a putback. Nice put and it's good. 59 39. And that's how it's going to end, folks. Congratulations to both teams and uh, both schools for this fine exhibition of basketball this afternoon between the Eisenhower Eagles and the Utica Chieftains. For all our camera crew here at Shelby TV and for Adam Zellick, I'm Tim Meyer saying we hope you enjoyed our broadcast tonight. The final score, the Eisenhower Eagles 59. The Utica Chieftains 39. We'll see you next time right here on Shelby TV. Goodbye, everybody.